Hey guys, here's another update of my DIY solar panels. All these cells you see here are from solarcells101.com. If you go to his site, I think he even has an ebook that he's getting started to let you know how to make these panels. The panel on the right is all 3 by 3s There's three rows of 13 wired in series, three more rows of 13 wired in series and then the two rows are wired in parallel together. This next panel is the 3x6 cells. I think there's 38 cells in this, all wired in series. Then this next panel to the left here is the first two rows are 3x3s. I think there's 26 of those. And then there's 21 2x3s tied in series with that. And then to the right, there's 38 3 by 3s And the two groups are wired in parallel also. Got this wind turbine here. This is actually my micro hydro, hydro generator. But right now, the brook is frozen solid, so I just threw this up on my horseshoe stake here. Get a couple amps out of that today, probably. In the background out there, you got the windmill spinning. It's 20 feet up right now. Should be 30. I gotta get it back up there. You see this little, this one here starting to take off. It's a nice breeze today. Alright, let's take a walk inside and see if we can get some readings. Right now, all my solar panels are hooked to my grid tie inverter. I have store bought solar panels also, and the DIY ones. The homemade panels are putting out 6.7 amps. The store bots. Now eight amps. Both sets are going into this grid tie inverter. 160 watts going into the grid right now. It gets up over 170. It's getting a little later in the day now. For my area. It's pretty good. The homemade panels seem to work great. They're almost up to par with the uh, store-bought panels now. I'll show you a, sh a shorted reading, shorted amps on those solar panels outside. 16.4 amps. That's at 21 volts. I can also hook these. This is the panels, the homemade panels hooked to my battery bank. So that's 10.18 amps. But right now my battery bank is actually full. You can see the green light blinking. It's actually regulating the power going to the batteries. So once my batteries fill up, I switch over to the grid. I leave the turbine on, turbines on the uh, batteries all the time. You see the grid tie inverter here. See the green light. That's the home. That's the store-bought panels hooked to that right now. Now I'll throw the DIY panels on, and we'll watch that green light speed up. That light speeds right up pretty good. So we got 8 amps from the store bought. We're down a little here now. 6.1 from the DIY solar panels. Like I said, the DIY panels are not that hard to make. And I think if you go to solarcells101.com, he has a little 
ebook that he's getting ready to finish up so you could learn how to do this yourself. It's a lot cheaper doing it that way. The three panels that we were looking at on the porch there probably cost me about as much as a store-bought panel would cost you for about a 50 watt panel and I have over 200 watts out there so you can't beat the prices just gotta put a little work into it it's fun to do anyhow it's pretty re rewarding when you're done 154 watts like I said that's not that great but it was up quite a bit higher earlier all right guys a little while ago I had five amps coming in from the wind this meter here is my wind amps seems like any time I ever get this camera near this gauge I got no wind coming in It's a shame. I would have liked to see five, six amps coming in out of that. Alright guys. Thanks for watching.